Hello, how are you? So happy Our History Month. I hope you're having a great day. I want to talk to you guys about these two black women that were found dead in Connecticut on the same day and nobody has the answers. Now, because they are women of all color, women of heavy pigment, we know that they're not going to be cared for, looked after, as other people would be. We're here. There's no reason to be sad about it. You just got to get shit done yourself. So the woman on the left, her name is Brenda Rawls, and she was 53. She was found dead after she visited a friend down the street from her house. And the one on the right, her name is Lauren Smith Fields. She is 23 and she went on a date with a man. They went back to her house and she was found dead the next morning by that man um, who said that she just didn't wake up. Th this is the same story for both of them. They just didn't wake up. But for since we're speaking about Miss Fields, she didn't wake up and she had um, blood, dried blood coming out of her nose. So, like I said, no one has the answers and I feel like no one wants the answers. So since, first first of all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some of this article to you. And then I'll pop over to another article speaking about how the two detectives that didn't do their effing jobs are suspended now because they didn't do their effing jobs and they just kind of didn't care about these two women's families. I think I don't even think that they let them know that the that the women passed away. I think it was just they just found out some way somehow. And so obviously you can see just how disgusting these people are and just how they feel about black women's bodies. They don't give a damn. So I'm just going to read um some of this. Very sad, very sad story. I'll try to pop around so it doesn't take too long. So both Lauren Fields or Lauren Smith Fields, 23, and Brenda Rawls, 53, were reported dead on the same day to police the next morning by men who they had been on dates with. The families of the two black women were demanding an external investigation into the handling of the two investigations. So the family has to fight for their family members to even have an investigation because we know black bodies don't matter because if they did they would have been all over this i'm i'm feeling real weird about i don't know the race of miss rawls the 53 year old i don't know the race of the man that she was with but i do know the man that miss fields the 23 year old was with was a white male and they said he was a nice guy so that's kind of why they didn't investigate which I'm pretty sure most serial killers are really nice guys. Wasn't there a serial killer? I cannot remember his name. I He was a serial killer of many women in like, I think the 80s. And one of his victims actually got away, ran to the police station. And this guy was such a nice guy that they the victim wasn't even believed. He literally took her back after she ran away. He, he got her back from the police because they were just like, he's such a nice guy. He obviously has to be the protector of this woman. It's crazy. So obviously there are a lot of nice guys roaming the streets willing to hurt and kill females. And because this, the nice smile that they have in their face, they're allowed to just walk freely. So here's some more bullet points. Neither family was notified that their relative had died and both say that forensic evidence wasn't properly gathered. The Bridgeport Police Department, both families said, treated them without compassion or humanity and have ignored their correspondence. Makes sense. They treated my sister Brenda like she was a Jane Doe, Rawls' sister said like they found her on the side of the road with no identification. 
Phil or Smithfield's family is suing the department for their racially insensitive handling of the woman's death. So let me skim through this. I'm not surprised. Let me just say I'm not surprised because how many black people disappear, um, just disappear in general and no one knows where they're at. How many black people or beautiful people of color disappear with people that don't look like them and then there's really no investigation? So I'm not surprised. Um, let me find... Okay, so this this next paragraph is about Miss Lauren um, Smithfield. So she was found dead in her apartment. She had spent the night with a 37-year-old man she met on Bumble. A medical examiner later it concluded it was an accidental fentanyl overdose and that she had died of acute intoxication due to combined effects of fentanyl, promethazine, hydroxazine and alcohol um Rawls the 53 year old woman that you're seeing right here her death has not been confirmed her cause of death okay so now both families are calling for the state of Connecticut to investigate their relatives deaths um, Miss Lauren Smithfield's family said that although Bridgeport police confiscated the dead woman's phone, passport, and $1,300, $1,345 in cash from her home, they left glaring pieces of evidence untouched. Okay, and so they're celebrating her 24th birthday. So like I said, this is Miss Brenda. May she rest in peace. And this is Miss Fields. May she rest in peace. So, like I said, there they can people our people can just disappear. And it is what it is. I'm sorry. We're sorry that uh black bodies just disappear and they're just found in different places. And we're we're not gonna investigate. That's you guys' problem. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave this article because it's a long article and they just go over how negligent the police truly were in these cases. And keep in mind, they were two separate cases that they just decided, we don't care about these black women. We just don't care. Um, I was trying to skim through because there was some other strange information in this and here goes the guy that was found with miss lauren um and he was just such a nice guy of course you know that he shouldn't be investigated because based on your niceness nowadays you don't get investigated right so let me just actually yeah this i think i'm to the part let me just tell you something about lauren that's super crazy that her parents, or not her parents, but her, it's quite disgusting, but let me just read this to you. The first night we saw cups there, flipped plates and the lube. The cops didn't take any of the cups to test the liquor. There was a big stain of blood in the middle of the bed with streaks going to the right side. So the cops didn't feel the need to take the bloody sheets either. Just, you know, there's no reason for us to take the bloody sheets. Here goes some more. Um... Where was it? Let's just read this. The family found a used condom in the trash, lubricant, bloody sheets on her bed, and an unidentified pill in her apartment where she died. So the family has to be the detectives because the detectives won't do their job. And so you wonder why people say defund the police. Most of us normal people don't want the police gone. We just want the police to have some of their funds taken away so they're not doing fuck shit all the time and not investigating. 
So I'm going to pop over to this other. Remember, this is the man. This is the really nice guy because he looks like he's about to go hiking and he has those, um, the glasses on. Of course he couldn't be a killer, right? So hold on one second. So now I've popped over to this other article where the detectives have been suspended over the handling of two black women's cases. So, um, yeah, these punk ass police decided to not investigate. Two police detectives in Connecticut's largest city have been suspended amid, amid investigations into allegations of insensity, insensitivity in their handling of separate cases in which black women were found dead in their apartments. In each of the two cases in Bridgeport, the family said the police did not notify them of the deaths in a timely manner. So, um, I, I, I don't have much. I'm going to leave both of these articles in here because I don't want this to be a 20, 30 minute video, but this is absolutely pathetic. The fact that two black women are found dead in two different locations in the same city, I believe, and no one cares shows you who they truly care about. They care about when they go to an investigation, to the scene of a crime, they care about the people that look like them. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying for me, I'm not a hateful person. So if I was a freaking police investigator, whatever the hell you want to call them these days, my ass would be in there actually investigating because I care about the crime that has been committed against these people and not the color of their skin. And so if you want people to actually care about you and yours, you're going to have to stop them from being racist or stop them from discriminating against other people, or you're just gonna have to take them off the force and replace them with people that actually care about human life. That's all I got. I think these um, cases are disgusting. I think the police are disgusting. And I feel like if they don't do their job, shouldn't they be put in jail for at least a month just to show them that there's consequences to their actions? That's just me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye.